are welcome to Ask the Accountant podcast or Pit Stop podcast as we are in FAV, which is Festival of Accounting and Bookkeeping 2024. And we have a guest of epic proportions. In my eyes, we've got one of the disruptors of the accounting industry here in the flesh. Do you want to explain who you are, why you are, why people should even know of you? What, what is it? What, 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 what talk, to, talk to us. Yeah, uh, I'm Andy Wainwright. Uh, Managing Director of Wainwright's Accountants, um, also the founder of Client Engager Software. That could be the reason. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, that's it. And like we're, we're talking about disruption, we're talking about that seems to be one of the big parts of today. Like we're in Festival Accounting Bookkeeping, Aprons just launched their new capture software. People are talking about like changing guard that they've never changed before. They've been with Dex for X amount of time, all this yeah. ever. It's safe to say that people are looking at different alternatives or practice management now. Do you know what it is that people are, what, what's their pain points? Why are they suddenly a little bit frustrated? And what, what are you bringing to the table that can solve that? Yeah, I think what we're bringing is a modern piece of software, you know, that looks modern, feels modern, cloud-based, most importantly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and there is a lot of exciting products coming to the market. You know, you mentioned Apron then, really excited about Apron. Xenon Connect, really excited about that. I like that, yeah. Client window for WhatsApp messaging, super excited for them as well. So I don't think I've missed anyone there, but they were the key people I really wanted to see. Again, more of a startup type businesses, you know, they're emerging into the market now. Yeah. Whether or not certain products are stalling or definitely price points, 100%. So there's a lot of price yeah. point there. Yeah. Um, and having a product that you can scale, most importantly, you know, if you have a per client option, possibly per user option, it doesn't scale well, particularly no. on per client basis. Yeah, yeah, Anything yeah. over 50 clients, which could be considered small, um, it just doesn't work for me. Yeah, and I think one of the things that you guys do well, and, and those ones you've just spoken to have kind of feel the same trope, right? What you're doing differently, and this whole disruption element, it seems to me like, originally, if I wanted to come to a place like this and I was looking at software, I'd be very much, this software would work for me if I'm prepared to make these changes or if I'm prepared to change the way maybe I do something in my practice to X, Y, Z. Yeah. What I love about you guys and the ones we've just mentioned is that you're giving us the tool, but you're not restricting us on how to, we must do it X, Y, Z, right? Yeah, absolutely. And I feel that's really refreshing. And hopefully, if anything we get out of this, more people come from that. And who's the idea behind that? Was that, was that your idea or? In terms... In terms of making the product more adaptable, yeah, I don't think it was, to be honest okay. with you. I think the development team behind it have probably thought beyond what I was requesting, because this was originally built. For your practice, right? More frustration of what was out there, we were definitely behind the curve, 100%, and, and it's taken us till now to really to catch up. Um, I think it was built with the intention that it could be adapted to other firms, because we always had a commercial mind with the product in mind yeah uh, so unknowingly it's been built with ways to tweak it to your firm and that's what that's the feedback that we've really had which is yeah. amazing and i think that's the strength of it right and, and the strength of all those disrupting products out there like we're not told for it to work we've got to go down this path it's okay you might work like this or you might work like this but we've got software that can adapt to that and i, I love it i love it okay so We've got more to talk about in terms of client engagement, and we will come back to it. But let's go through some of these questions. So, yeah, yeah. what was your first impression of Fab? Like, it's a different event, right? Yeah, yeah, superb. It's a nice feel to it. Not over big, not overpowering. Reminds me a little bit of a Countex North. Yeah, but agreed. A better version, in my opinion. You know, that's just my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it's made me the way you can meander. It's less square. It's, it's probably about a quarter of the size bigger, in my, agreed. In my feeling, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, if, and I think all the... Vendors having similar sized stations again helps, gives everyone an equal opportunity, I think, as well. I love it, yeah. And I think one of the things I've noticed in some of the events we go to, we'll go then, you'll walk around and you'll know maybe 80 to 90% of the people yeah. here. I am seeing people new each and every time I turn. It's amazing, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's just opening those eyes to people that are there. Yeah. So what are you most looking forward to at this event? What, what's, what was your key driver to get yourself down here? Was to see the vendors that I'd like to work with ultimately and i want to see them face to face because actually when you come to see them face to face there is the different sizes in reality when you see them on a team's meeting yeah. some are taller some are a little bit smaller yeah, 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 yeah. some are a little bit bigger possibly yeah but really we have that touch point 
and and uh, the things that we're looking for as well, just to reinforce it. I just think face to face definitely works much better. Hundred percent, and especially for you, right? You've got two different hats to wear, right? You've got your practice that you obviously want to be looking for the best in product for whatever it is, or yeah. find a pain point or whatever it's going to be. But also for you, all these decisions you've got to make of who does client engagement work with, who's it going to be with that. This is where those decisions normally get made. It's an event like yeah. this, isn't it? Because totally. nothing beats that face to face, does it? No, not at all. I mean, I was really super excited, and I think the tipping point for me to actually come to the event was April being here. I'm just so excited about that product of what it could bring. And yeah, you're saying there's disruptors here, and there definitely is, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, one of the things we were talking about last night is: is there any way client engager and April can come together? Like they're the sort of opportunities you have from something like this yeah, right yeah, and like yeah. if it's over beer or whatever it has to be like that's that benefits the whole of the industry and it's conversations yeah. that happen at events like this right definitely because if they're the products that i mean we're a reasonably sized firm you know we're, we're dealing in client volume as opposed to you know extortion of monthly pricing or whatever your option might be yeah you know basically seeing those here yeah definitely totally great so you're a man with many hats to wear on an event like this right yeah not a lot of people come here with the, as many hats as you do. So how do you take away key action points from this? What's your top tip for going, you know what, I'm coming to this event. You've already said you've got these criteria you want to try and fix and yeah. maybe these pain points you're looking to sort out. But how do you make sure you walk away from this and know that you're going to get the most out of it? What's your top tips? Top tips would definitely to be follow-up. Um, had the benefit of this, of this event actually of having Ash, who's just recently joined us. Yeah, yeah. And introducing him to some of these vendors. Yeah. So they're not always touch pointing with me. I'm trying to take myself away from that, if, if that makes sense. Exactly. Well, definitely. You know, yeah, yeah. I'm running a practice at the same time. You know, I'm looking at those different hats of what can improve, make it more efficient. You know, overall, that will add value to clients engage you exponentially. Yeah. So your advice is go get an Ash. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Top of Ash, right. Okay, let me note that one down. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. So what do you think of the UK accounting event space at the moment? What's your current opinion of it? So we've got a lot going on. There's, you know, can we do more? Is there more events needed? Is there less events needed or different regions? Yeah, what would you say? There is a lot of events, isn't there? You know, and it's taking that time out of the office to come. You know, I know you should do that, you know, to you know, broaden your horizon. We only have so much time, right? Exactly. And it seems to be coming thick and fast. Um, for me, you know, I'm an ordinary. So, you know, the touch points up north is obviously a lot easier. Yeah. Um, so, but I think there's a place for them all, isn't there? I mean, own time will tell, won't it, over, over, over the course of time. But again, this looks a great venue, you know, and a great event. So, really surprised. Not not visited it before. So, yeah, yeah done it, well. It seems to work, right? It seems yeah. to work for our, what we need. Okay, let's talk about what you love the most about this industry. What is that? Why do you become? Why were you becoming an accountant first? What, what what drives you? What's that? Oh, what's that fire in the belly? One of my, one of my favourite bits is we don't niche. Yeah, yeah. So what I get really excited about is seeing different businesses, how different businesses work, different margins they can potentially make. Just the whole aspect of getting to know different industries. I mean, I suppose being an accountant, you know, people would always say there's always a job out there because you can work in any industry, whether yeah, yeah. management accountant, reporting accountant, whatever it may be. So I think it's the variation of of the different industries that we work with. And, and you get an insight as well. It's yeah. really interesting. And I think that works well from what I know of you. Like, you're a sponge, right? You will just grab that. They grab that. So if someone tells you X, Y, Z, you're going to remember that and it, you'll bring it back up. Yeah. And I feel like for someone like yourself, that's that's the joy of it, right? Like, grabbing that extra sponge, grabbing that extra bit of information. And, and let's be honest, like, that's what we enjoy doing, isn't it? And it, it's that feeling that we've had, it may be a small, but we've had that opportunity to help that that business grow, right? Yeah, 100%. I suppose with new technologies coming out as well now, you know, and the demands that will be coming with MTD eventually when it, you know, does kick in, one yeah, yeah, yeah. which it's going to do. Yeah. Um, you know, we're adding value to that business and making that more efficient and having data live, you know, so they can make decisions, you know, and we can, if we've dealt with one particular industry, we can almost adapt that to a new client who's in a similar industry without, without there being a crossover or conflict of interest. Yeah, yeah, adding yeah. value all the time. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Okay, so that's what you love about the industry. What would you change about the industry? I suppose it's the constant changes of softwares as would be the big bugbear in, you know, in, our, in our practice. You yeah. know, I'm always coming up with different ideas. We tend to steady it out, to be honest with you, over the last four or five years as things have settled down and, and we find our feet because we know that upsets clients 
in particular. You know. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. suppose that possibly would be the biggest frustration. Yeah. I suppose your issue now is because of client engage, you're being put forward this fantastic software, that fantastic software. It's just like you're always going to have that shiny syndrome, aren't you? And you've just got to you've got to be disciplined, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I think you've also got to be out there and know what's what's about as well. You know, it's really important. You know, I subscribe to Ask the Accountants. Adds loads of value to me. I mean, I might not watch it all eight, half eight a bit early for me, to yeah, be honest with you. Yeah. Maybe start at half time. <laughs> but when I do watch it back and, and the snippets that you do get, it always adds value and it's got other people's input as well. Love it, love it. Okay, so we're going to be interested in this one for you. So what is the item on top of your tech stack? So what is that piece of item or app or what's that one new thing in the last 24 months or so that you've gone, that has changed the game for me. That has completely and utterly changed the way I help clients or help your staff or talk to me. Yeah, I think um, possibly Zama integration definitely changed the way we deal with our money loan and risk assessment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's made it a lot neater. Yeah. So that's definitely up there. As I've said, we've just come across Xenon. Really excited about that, but improving the quality of the data. Yeah. We'll look at using the products to reprice as well and look where there is scope creep creep with a tangible product to look at to you know to verify that quickbooks obviously integral part of our business yeah yeah you know and you know we keep ahead you know we go to the same dues you know to, to get insight to what's coming yeah really excited what's happening there on that and that yeah. as well oh there's so much we want to talk about isn't yeah. there? yeah so much okay how do you feel ai is going to impact you so if you could look a year down the line where are you seeing ai being impactful for you in your business yeah uh, good one I think it's at its early stages now. I oh, personally yeah. feel like there's a bit of a hype over it and it's a buzzword. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it when it can start taking maybe your tone that you write emails in so it starts AI learning in that. Yeah. It's consistent. I just feel at the moment it's a little bit robotic in terms of the response. Yeah. You can tell, can't you? When yeah, and, yeah. And there's probably too much time spent actually reviewing that and editing it. So I think that's where I'm really excited where AI will come in and potentially again with other softwares, you know, maybe set an auto rules up for you, yeah. other, other yeah. insights that that might do, taking the pressure off and alleviating time so you concentrate on advisory or adding yeah. value to the clients. Which is a bit you've already said, it's a bit you enjoy, right? Yeah, it's nothing to be worried about. Yeah. I think it's going, to, it's going to enhance the product, if not the yeah. And you've got to imagine it's what your team enjoys as well. If you can enhance them to have more time to advise clients, they're going to be happier overall, isn't it? So yeah, 100%. We're, we're not looking, we've got to keep drumming, banging this drum. We're not looking at people losing jobs. We're looking at enhancing their jobs and making their jobs more enjoyable, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've looked at Todd, you know, Tax on Demand. Really like the interface that uh, yeah. stage they're at now. You yeah. know, typing in a tax query that you might have that you might be unsure about, getting an answer, validating it. You know, they can only add value. You know, it enhances us as, as accountants. 100%. I love that. Love that. All right. So we've got that camera, that camera, that camera. This is your opportunity now to plug, plug, and plug some more. So obviously, people want to know about client engagement. What, what should they be excited about? Look, plug away. Go for it. Uh, I think the exciting part about it is it's completely scalable. You know, we're, we're, we've entered the market from a frustration of an accounting firm with a sizable number of clients and putting in the places that you can really add value to your business. I mean, my background, I've worked in designer clothing for a long period of time, so I love a premium product. And I've worked in the motor industry whilst I was on my placement doing a degree. So I know about automation just in time, yeah. making yeah. sure that we're consistent, you know, because you've got to get out quality good, control, quality product. Yeah. So that's what I'm really excited about with Clients Engager and the partnerships that we're making. You know, they're, they're going to be more important. So I was thinking today, basically, I would see us maybe like a department store, but we're not going to do everything, but we're going to tap into the best resources at what those other products do. And yeah. That's what I'm trying to find being here today. And obviously, you know, with you guys. I love it. And I, yeah. and I, and I generally believe like there's a reason there's so much buzz around client engagement. It is because you're connecting the dots for people. Like you're doing the hard work for them. You're doing like Zama is an amazing product that not enough people know about, but you came along with a shiny button. It was like, if I don't use that shiny button, what am I missing out on? 100%. We use the shiny button. Yeah. Suddenly, like you've already said, we've changed the way we do our AML process going forward. Talk to me a little bit more about it because there is a lot of excitement about fees and um, and and um, time management and all that coming. So yeah, yeah. Is that born out of your practice? Are you the one shouting for it? Is this more the community? No, it's the community. First and foremost, 
and then it brings it to the forefront of your attention. So, yeah, we brought Sash in and he's helped develop these these ideas and implement them much better than I could ever have done. One hundred percent. You know, I'm more like doing the Andy check. Is it is it easy to use? Yeah, yeah. Is it visually nice to look yeah, at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And social side of it. I mean, this year we're looking to build in onboarding and making that hundred percent streamlined. Because you know the frustration of when you've got X number of at certain different stages that needs to be lean so you can service the clients that you actually have got, yeah. you know, and deliver there. Because nothing hampers the growth, does it? Unless you can actually onboard a client easily, right? Completely. And, you know, we're trying to make that seamless as possible. So, yeah, you know, we're making all these different connections, getting different ideas from the community, from the alternative vendors. I think if we can try and pull all those together and we can all work together, I think there's some exciting times later on this year. It is definitely some exciting, definitely exciting times. So excited. Andy, it's been an absolute honour to finally have you on here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we'll, we'll have to do this again sometime. We're going to have to make you a cool friend. Get you, get yourself a little top trumps card and go down all there. So one last time, just tell anyone where they can find you and everything else and all that yeah. sort of stuff. Where, where is client engager? Like, where yeah, I mean, check us out on LinkedIn. You can go to my, to, uh, my identity with Andy Wainwright. Uh, you'll see clients engage you there. Have a look at the product. Maybe sign up to, to it. You know, the no Facebook pressure. group's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, Facebook group's like over a thousand members now. Every Wednesday, Johan commits to that. Super great ideas get inputted, which I implement in my own practice, which I didn't think were available. Um, and it's that flexibility of the product again. Yeah. People sharing those ideas. So, yeah. You're you know, building a community. Reach out then, to right? us, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a community, isn't it? So 100%. we're loving it. Brilliant. Yeah. And that's it. That is As The Accountant Pit Stop Podcast FAB 2024 with a legend that is Andy. So thanks, Andy. Thank thanks, you very Aaron. much for coming on. Yeah, Appreciate Looking. it. Thanks. Cheers. Bye.